Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. And as you can tell, you could probably see my reflection in the uh, in the camera, and you can see the footprint with the Bigfoot in it, and you can see the new decal we have for the channel. And you can reach me at Old Bears O L D B E A R S D E N D E N. 2019 at gmail.com and order your glass emblem, your sticker, your decal. They're a four inch decal. Uh, they look real good. You got a white background, so they'll stick out on your shaded glass on the back of your truck or your car. You can even stick them on the side of your vehicle and they'll be there. So. I have another story. It comes out of Canaan Valley here in West Virginia. This couple had a log cabin built in there. Now, this is a premier area for skiing, outdoor sporting in the summer. I mean, you can go and four wheeler ride in this area. You can walk trails, there's trails everywhere to walk on. Anyway, this couple bought a piece of property in the Canaan Valley. And they had a log home built. Really nice log home. I mean, it's extravagant. They had, you know, all kinds of stuff in there. A jacuzzi, a whirlpool, a sauna. They had all nice, you know, they had money. And they wanted to make that their summer home. They could come in there and, and experience the life in West Virginia. And walk on the trails and see all the deer and the bear and turkey and all the game that is here in West Virginia. It's a wonderful place to go and visit. It's a wonderful place to have a home. Or at least they thought so. What happened to them was they got their home built. Log cabin. Log home. Got it built. Moved in. To summer home. First time they come down and spent didn't spend all winter in it they spent some the first spring they they moved you know got everything moved in got everything taken care of everything was finished all done real pretty home real pretty fixtures and furnishings inside the home first night they sit out on the porch just experiencing the sunset having a wonderful time they heard something a loud scream they didn't know what it was husband thought it might have been a big cat a bobcat no not loud enough mountain lion possibly but it didn't sound like a cat completely so I don't know what to tell you but it wasn't a cat, wasn't a bobcat, wasn't a mountain lion. According to DNR, there is no such mountain lions in the state of West Virginia. There's bobcats, but no mountain lion. Anyway, nothing went on. You know, they heard that scream a couple of times that evening, and that was it. Well, they spent a long weekend in there, and then they went home, and then they came back a couple weeks later to spend another long weekend. They decided to spend a week at this time. They spent the week in there. And by the weekend, the screams had gotten close to their house. Just out of sight. The last night they were there, something come up and rustled something on the porch. Husband got up, went outside, didn't see anything. So they left the next day, went home, and uh, come back um, Memorial Day weekend. They left on Thursday from their original home, come to West Virginia, spent Thursday night there, Friday night, heard the screams again Thursday, Thursday night when they got there, heard the screams on Friday night, something come up on the porch on Friday night. Didn't find anything. Saturday morning, husband got up, went out looking around the yard, found something that was very strange to him. 
Somebody was walking in their bare feet, and they had huge feet. Bet you can't guess where I'm going with this. Anyway, Saturday night rolls around. They heard the screams. They were just out of eyesight when they heard them. They were loud, really loud. Well, this scares them. They go inside. Turn the lights on outside. The scream stops when they turn the lights on. They go. They get on the internet. It's a landline. Yeah, there wasn't no satellite. It was a landline. Started looking up screams and uh, of different cats and bears and stuff like that. Can't find anything, and they just happened to come upon a site that had a Bigfoot howl on it. That's what they'd been hearing. So now they're worried. They're worried that these things are going to come up and uh, cause trouble. Well, lo and behold, the Bigfoot comes up that night, smacks the house. Well, that's Saturday night. Husband didn't go outside that time. He was afraid to go out there. His wife was too. Didn't want him going out. So... Sunday morning rolls around. They get up and leave and go home a day early. Well, they decide to come back in two weeks and check on their their nice, beautiful home. Well, they get back in the front, uh, and on the way back, they get a phone call from a. Uh, they get a phone call. That they need to come to their home, and 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 uh, they the the police said that uh, someone broke in and destroyed the inside of their house. So they get there on Saturday. They get there on that, that uh, what was it, uh, Friday night, and uh, front door's kicked in, not kicked in, I mean, it's laying in the living room floor. Uh, it's an open floor plan, they, well, as soon as they walk in, they flip the lights on, uh, lights are broken, every, you know, uh, lamps are broken. The refrigerator is knocked over. The door is ripped off from the refrigerator. All the food that they had in the refrigerator is laying all over the place. Now, they kept this place stocked, and they had some unstock for them when they were going to come down. But all the food that was there was thrown all over the place. House was ripped apart on the inside. Things are broken. Couches. Well, let's put it this way. The couch had something in the middle of it that was rather disgusting. Let's put it to you that way. Anyway, they uh, they decided right then and there that they were going to sell the home. Well, they still haven't sold the home because they had to disclose what happened. And uh, they don't know if they're ever going to be able to sell it. They don't want to come back because they're afraid of what could happen. But they had a new door put on. The, the refrigerator was replaced. Everything was fixed in the home. But yet the home sits there in the Canaan Valley. And they don't even use it. So ladies and gentlemen, that's another story for you of what Bigfoot will do to eat your home. I thank y'all. I'm glad you came. Glad to have you. If you want a sticker, email me. Old Bears Den 2019 at gmail.com. We'll talk to you later. Hope you enjoy it. Bye bye.